If you aren't using this law I'm about to tell you about, you are missing the whole point of law of attraction. This one law can make all the difference in the world when it comes to manifesting. And today I'm going to dive into one of the most powerful laws in the universe that you can start applying today and make major shifts in your ability to manifest what you desire. Hello, powerful manifestors. Welcome to my channel. I'm Victoria Gallagher, law of attraction hypnotist and number one best-selling author of Practical Law of Attraction. I'm here to help you tap into the power of your mind, align yourself with the manifesting conditions and successfully attract your dreams, goals, and a life you love. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified about my new videos. So the law of expectation states that whatever you expect with confidence and certainty becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And it is one of the most powerful laws in the universe. Whatever you expect becomes your reality. Many people go through life thinking that it should be hard. And since they expect it to be, then it is. The universe gives them more of the same, gives them a hard life filled with roadblocks, unforeseen challenges along the way, and your expectations are always delivered. Luckily, this is something you can change. Whatever you expect is totally within your control. And you can begin right now to expect prosperity, expect abundance, expect happiness, love, good health, and opportunity. Whatever you expect is what you're going to get. So that's a good one to leave in the comments. What you expect is what you receive. What you respect is what you receive. Write that in the comments. If you want to get something out of these videos, be sure to leave these comments in there because these are the, the talking points that are going to help you to really lock in this information. So something very interesting happens in your mind when you change your expectation. As soon as you make a choice to change your expectation, the universe jumps on board with you and helps you to create more of what you expect. So let me ask you, what would you like to begin expecting? What would you like to expect? Abundance? Would you like to feel good? Would you like to feel relaxed? Would you like to get the girl or the guy? Would you like to get good grades? Whatever it is, put whatever it is that you expect to happen in the comments. Even if you're not sure right now you expect it, put whatever you want to expect in the comments. All right, now you might think that you're expecting something, but here's the thing. When you look at your actions and your results, that actually tells you what you are really expecting. There are brain imaging techniques out there where they're discovering how your thoughts, your belief, your desires actually create biological, physiological changes in your organs, in your cells, in your tissues. So much of human perception is not based on the information flowing into the brain from the outside world is actually the other way around. It's what the brain expects to happen based on your own previous experiences. Let me tell you about this, this study that was done in Japan. There were 13 people who were extremely allergic to poison ivy. Now each had rubbed on one arm a harmless leaf that they were told was poison ivy. So, so they rubbed this on, on their arm and they were told that it was poison ivy. And on the other arm, they rubbed the actual poison ivy. And they were told that the actual poison ivy was harmless. Well, guess what? All 13 broke out in a rash where the harmless leaf contacted their skin. Only two had reactions where the actual poison leaves were rubbed. All right, so what that means is how you behave or act is determined by the results that you expect. In other words, you're gonna be motivated to take certain actions when you expect that you're going to have certain results from those actions. When you expect success, 
you take all the necessary actions to prepare for it. So what actions are you taking in your life that are demonstrating that you expect results? I want you to write in the comments the actions I am taking toward what I expect. These are the actions, whatever actions you're taking, write those down in the comments. The actions that I am taking toward what I expect are, okay? Because we previously asked you to write in the comments, what do you want to expect? And then what are the actions that you're actually taking toward what you expect? Here's another illustration of the power of positive and negative expectancy. Norman Vincent Peale told a story about a group of people who at the end of one year committed to writing down their expectations for the coming year. And each person sealed what they wrote, what their expectations were in an envelope and they were going to open and read aloud at the end of the year, what they wrote down the year before. So fast forward to the end of the year, the notes were open and each of the expectations had been fulfilled. So the man who had written, all I can expect is more of the old, miserable same received in the new year exactly what he expected, of course. A woman who had listed 10 goals that she expected to achieve found that she was able to achieve nine out of the, the 10 goals. Nine out of the 10 goals had been accomplished. Not so bad. And another man basing his expectations on his horoscope, his negative outlook for his Capricorn birth sign predicted that he looked for difficulties and frustrations because that's what his horoscope said and his negative expectations were realized. But another woman in that exact same group had the exact same birth sign. She was also a Capricorn. And since she didn't know to expect difficulties that were predicted, she had a, she predicted a satisfying year and that came to pass. And then unfortunately, another man in the group had written, since none of the men in my family survive beyond the age of 60, I expect that I'm going to die this year. And that man's death occurred exactly one month before his 60th birthday. So that always gives me chills when I, when I think about that. Each of us receives exactly what we expect, whether our, our expectations are positive or negative. If you want to begin to change your expectations at the subconscious level of mine, then I highly recommend you download my free HypnoCloud app to help you to believe, to trust, and to allow. HypnoCloud has over 500 hypnosis sessions to choose from, so it's going to help you to achieve success and manifest your desires in so many ways. So be sure to click the link in this video and download download that app today. So consider the fact that you can never do any better than what you expect is going to happen. Your expectations are completely within your control. So you want to make sure that your expectations are consistent with what you want to manifest. What you expect will determine whether you manifest what you want or you manifest what you don't want. So expect the best and you will begin to see the best showing up for you in your life. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want more information about this, just leave a comment and let me know what else you'd like to know about manifesting and the law of attraction. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to be notified about my new videos and share it with your friends. And let's just leave off with an affirmation to write in the comments area. To see the best, I expect the best. To see the best, I expect the best. Thanks for watching. And once again, be sure to download my HypnoCloud app for some amazing law of attraction manifesting self-hypnosis sessions. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.